Hello, fellow Battenbergers. This is important, so I'm going to get straight into it. Important and hitting the wires. So I need to read this to you to make sure that I'm accurate, to make sure that uh, maybe people in power are saying it's disinformation and misinformation. So I am quoting accurately what's just hit the wires. Uh, the teenager, Axel Ruda Kubana, the suspect in the stabbing murders in Southport, has been charged with producing the poison ricin and possessing a military study of an Al-Qaeda training manual. At a briefing today, Chief Constable Serena Kennedy from Merseyside Police said the teenager now faces two further charges related to evidence obtained by police following searches of his home after the attacks. As I say, he's named as Axel Ruda Kubana, 18. He's been charged with production of a biological toxin contrary to Section 1 of the Biological Weapons Act in 1974. He's also been charged with possession of a PDF document of a kind likely to be useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism, contrary to Section 58 of the Terrorism Act 2000. And the accused will appear at Westminster Magistrates Court tomorrow. Merseyside Police Chief Constable Serena Kennedy said that the force would continue to lead the investigation into the Southport stabbings on the 29th of July. Counterterrorism police have not declared the incident a terrorist incident. Both the ricin and the training manual were found as part of searches of the suspect's house in the Lancashire village of Banks following the stabbings in Southport. No ricin was found at the scene of the stabbing in Southport and police said the poison they discovered presented a low risk to the public. She also added that this charge relates to a, a PDF file entitled Military Studies in the Jihad Against the Tyrants, the Al-Qaeda Training Manual. However, police have not declared the events of the 29th of July a terrorist incident. The charges which have been added do not require a motive to be established. And in order for the incident to be classed as a terrorist incident, motive would need to be established. The teenager has already been charged with uh, murdering Bibi King, 6, Elsie Dot Stancombe, 7, and Alice De Silva Aguiar, 9, at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class in Southport. He's also charged with 10 counts of attempted murder and possession of a knife. And a trial is expected to begin in January. So a few questions spring to mind. One, why has it taken three months for this to become public knowledge? Two, why is the trial in January, considering people that have been posting stuff on social media have been jailed within days of posting stuff on social media? And what about the concerns of everyone in Southport who had these very concerns but were told it was not terrorist related? And now we find there are two terrorism charges being laid at his feet. I'm sure there will be more. But from me to you, keep an eye on the mainstream media, because I'm not sure how they're going to deal with this. If he's at Westminster Magistrates Court in the morning, Wednesday morning, the day that Rachel Reeves, Robert Reeves, stands up and um, presents her budget to Parliament. That's why they've done it today. And he's at the magistrate's court in the morning because you might find a column inch somewhere on page 15 on a lot of the red tops. My name's Adrian Allen. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, but most of all, your indulgence. The journey continues. I'll see you in another video soon.